been thinking it, were you? Singing? Mm, <laughs> Hello. Hi, friends. So, today we are here to do another seasonal TBR. <sighs> we are approaching fall. Actually, Bye, we are summer. in fall. Goodbye. <laughs> today is Goodbye. actually the official start of fall. Mackie's very excited, and so am I, because I love fall. It's my second favorite season. So And mine too, next to winter. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to be talking about all the books we plan to read in the fall. This bearing in mind, however, that we did not complete our summer TBRs. Yeah. We both read about half, I want to say. Probably less. Yeah, so we have those on standby as well, you know, in case we ever feel like reading any of them. <laughs> um, yeah. Specifically, I want to jump in and already say that we are, all, we are both still definitely considering reading the Shadowhunters books. Me, TMI, is what I'm going to be reading. Technically, I'm rereading the first three and yeah. then reading the last three. And he was supposed to read, read the, the Infernal, Infernal Devices. Devices. I think it would be better suited to fall in general, so that's my yeah, excuse. Yeah, let's put, let's put that that's in front excuse. and out of the way because, yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be Shadow Hunter September. I know, but we're going to But just September have to was about... neither shadowy nor huntery. So we're going to have to think about like a new clever name for that. Clavetober? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Figured something out. But anyway, aside from all those books, these are the new books that we are adding to our official seasonal TBR. Well, not totally new. Uh, observe. I said that I would read The Magicians the last time. I still haven't read The Magicians, and Comic Con is coming. We're going again. I got these at Comic Con. Uh, so I'm going to want to both reread these before Comic Con and therefore maybe more books will come into our lives and before season three of The Magicians actually, mm -hmm. you know, comes mm -hmm. around the corner. Good plan. So it would be good, good plan. to get I that. this. So. The first book I'm going to show you is a book that I know my friend DJ really, really, really wants me to read like and has wanted me to read for like forever. And I know Kristen from Super Space Chick also will be excited to know I'm putting it on my huh. TBR. Uh, it is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, which I have never read. I do love circuses, especially in books, and I've heard that this one is really, really good. It's basically about two, I guess they're magicians or circus performers who they're in love, but they can't be together, so it's, it's, it's oh. something like that. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this, and I was assured that fall is actually the best time to read this because the imagery and the way it's written is just perfect for the season, so I am looking forward to checking it out. And next for my Halloween read, uh, <laughs> My Best Friend's Exorcism. Because um, why not read about exorcisms on Halloween? Oddly enough, did the cover, in you know, rendered in old 80s VHS, uh, style with a Be Kind Rewind sticker kind of embedded into the art. Uh, and the title, My Best Friend Exorcism, doesn't really lend further to the imagination yeah. in terms That's of whether or is, right? in terms of whether or not you want to read it. I mean there's balloons and roller skates and evil crows and like terrible clothes. Um, done. So hoping to read that for, for Halloween. The next part of my TBR is the series I want to continue or series I need to finish section. So for series I want to continue, I have Air to Seven Waters by Juliet Marlier. This is the fourth book in the series, of the Seven Water series, but it's technically the first book in a new trilogy within that series. So I am basically starting something new and I don't remember what this one is about specifically, but I did love the first two books of the Seven Water series a whole lot. That's Daughter of the Forest, which I'm obsessed with. It's um, a sort of retelling of the Six Swans fairy tale, which Dude. I loved. And then I also love Son of the Shadows, so I'm really looking forward to this. A lot of my friends say that this is another one of their favorite books in the series, so I can't wait to get to it myself. Awesome. The recommendations from the wife. I Avalon. love this book. So this is book one of two, right? So yes. obviously uh, I'm gonna want to read that too, but I feel like this is a really fun sci-fi read. I have been meaning to get this on the pile, and so it is going I mean, to be it's a bunch of teens on the literal pile. Doing like heisty things together in space. We like space thieves. I do love space thieves. They're things. shiny. <laughs> All right, so next in the whole series TBR pile, The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater, which is the fourth and final book of the Raven Cycle. I have read the first three books. I especially love the second and the third books, The Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue. And I really, really want to read this. I just really want to read the other books again before I get to this because I feel like being immersed in it so completely will be good for me as a reader. 
So they're the perfect fall books as well, so I'm just gonna use that as my continued excuse as to why this had to wait so long. Plus, Kristen will love it because she's technically the one who gave me this one. So thanks, Kristen! Here's a book that I have been meaning to read uh, again. You should because, oh, spoiler, slight, not slight spoiler, I'm sorry. I, I meant to say, uh, announcement, there is another book that's oh, a spin-off there's a third, oh, a spin-off, hey! Yes. Okay, I so, can't say the title because that's technically a spoiler, so. So for those of you who may have recognized, uh, who may have recognized it, this is Shadow Scale. It is book two, uh, the second one after a book called Serafina. So it is a story about a society that uh, has, has you know cohabited because uh, cohabited with dragons, mm -hmm. and dragons have the ability to kind of fold themselves into themselves and change shape. And some of them have been in human guise. Now Seraphina just happens to have some dragon blood in her, and that's always kind of a nutty, weird, don't let anybody know or they're gonna kill you kind of deal. Uh, she survives, obviously, uh, you know her earlier life until the events of the second book really you know, set things up, and uh, I want to know what happens in Shadow It's Scale, good. I mean, so. it's interesting, because I didn't expect it to do what it did, but it was interesting. All right, my next book is actually a book we got at Comic-Con for me last year, and that is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is the third book in the Kiss of Deception trilogy, and like the other ones I've mentioned, I kind of want to reread the series before I get to this one. Um, I do want to know how it ends. I know my friend Rachel from Hello Chelly loved how it ended, so I am very much looking forward to this. The first book is basically about a princess who does not want to be married, so she runs away from her arranged marriage only to be pursued by two people. The prince she was supposed to marry and the assassin that is sent to kill her after she leaves. And that's the entire much. story of the first book. I'm looking forward to seeing how the story concludes. Well, she looks so, like she's gonna stick that to them. The pointy end must find its thing. BA this year, totally awesome experience. I was able to fall in line for uh, Brandon Mull's uh, book signing. Brandon Mull had written something called the Fable Haven series and recently released a spin off of that series called Dragon Watch. Now, I had already read Fable Haven one and understanding what I do now about kind of reading the last book in the giant ass series um, and not reading the series prior to it I kind of don't want to make that mistake again so before I can even get to this super pretty uh, author signed copy of final you know finished copy of Dragon Watch I'm gonna need to reread books two three four and five of Fable Haven which by the way for those of you who don't know Fable Haven is a story about how a family uh, of you know people uh, are the caretakers of one of the few uh, fabled creature sanctuaries of the world. Literally it's kind of like a game reserve but for fables. Well fabled creatures anyway this is not like fables the, the graphic novel this is creatures of fable right mm -hmm. and so the rules are different there's some crazy hijinks going on there and our, our, our guys uh, well I like the first book. I didn't like some of the characters there because maybe they were too young and that's probably the point. Maybe they'll grow, do a lot of growing up in these next four books, I don't know. But if I want to get to Dragon Watch, I'm gonna have to read the rest of the Fable Haven series. So I'm gonna want to do that during the fall. And the last book that I have on mine is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rukowski. This is the final book of the Winner's Trilogy. In the first book of the series, the main characters are Kestrel who is sort of well-to-do and she has to choose between becoming a soldier or becoming a wife. And she buys a slave named Aaron and Aaron is the other character and he has a story of his own. And it's a really good series. I like the first book, but I fell in love with the second book. So I'm curious to see how everything wraps up in this third book. Awesome. So there you have it. Those are all the books that are on our seasonal TBRs. Hopefully it's gonna be easier. Luck. If you've read any of them or are excited for any of them, let us know because we love hearing that and we would love to know what's on your fall TBR as well. Warnings and, and uh, yeah. encouragement are very much <laughs> encouraged. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Anyway, announcements again. This is going to happen a couple of times, guys, because I'm just excited about some of these things. So first is I am doing a panel tomorrow for all of you New Yorkers. I'm doing one tomorrow at the Barnes & Noble in Tribeca for Bee Fest. It is a book two panel, and I will be on it along with Emma Books, Michael Book Lion, Kristen from Super Space Chick, and Monica from She Might Be Monica. So it's from one to three, and it'll be fun. So hopefully you guys will be there. 
Second announcement, I am officially a rep for a candle company called Canterbury Road Co. And she does such an amazing job with her candles and the scents are so good. I keep talking about the currently reading candle everywhere, but that's only because I'm kind of obsessed with it. Anyway, if you feel like placing your very first bookish candle order over there, then feel free to use my discount code, Alexa17, which I will also leave down below just in case you need to see it. And third announcement, we will be at NYCC in two weeks, which is very exciting. We'll be there all four days, so oh, if you see us, my say money. hi. My money. I know. Also, my feet. Oh, anyway. Anyway, anyway uh, what is next? Oh, again, with the Tamra Pierce, that's the fourth and final announcement. Um, we genuinely love hearing your guys' ideas for videos and stuff, and we will take note of them. Uh, so then we when we do have... our read through and when we kind of just roll that out, we're going to try to incorporate some of these ideas that mm -hmm. I believe will work we're gonna... for most of you. We're going to come up with um, an official schedule for the reading thing. And don't worry, it's going to be super casual. We're not, we're yeah, not going to be one of those like, you know, you, sh you should be flogged in a, you know, in the stocks somewhere. I was thinking more along the lines of it's not going to be so strict as you have to finish all of this book in one day, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, we're not those kinds of readers anyway, so we are just going to be a bit loose about them, but hopefully you guys will join us. We love talking about those books. Um, let me know, or let us know, I mean, if you think that it is better for us to do an entire series discussion as opposed to a book by book discussion, because I think a series discussion makes more sense. So let us know what you think of that. And I Although we don't mind geeking out about like individual oh, books yeah, in that series because that. that's fun. Uh, Tamara Pierce writes in quartets and duologies. Yeah. Uh, very little else outside of that num those mm -hmm. two numbers, so it, it'll be easy to just kind of like. In fact, she only has just the one duology, I think. Um, yeah. And then just, and, yeah, she writes quartets, trilogies, and duology. Yeah. Becca is a trilogy. Yeah, Becca's the one trilogy. Just let us know all your Tamara Pierce thoughts. We would love to hear them. And we're really excited to do something special for her books as well. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.